Inflammation. It has been said that inflammation is the root cause of chronic illness and premature aging. In this video, I'm gonna give you the number one nutrient to start turning inflammation down, and we're gonna get started right now. Well, hello everyone, I'm Dr. Glenn Harrison, and welcome to this week's segment of Why. This is where we take just a few minutes to answer some of the most common health-related health questions that I see in my clinic every day. So the, the question is, it, I get this all the time, and people that understand the word inflammation and they know it's a problem and they wanna get it down. Dr. Harrison, uh, what is the one thing that I could take that really, really help get my inflammation down? Well, that's a massive, big question, and I don't think there's one. It's impossible if I said there's one. Inflammation comes from many aspects of life, physical, chemical, emotional irritation, any of those things ramping up your immune system and giving your immune system an exaggerated response to, you know, th that's not necessary. And what happens is this is what's called inflammation. So getting it, you know, getting rid of inflammation is a big story. And, and I'm gonna tell you the one nutrient that is probably the most effective across all populations. And it's a super antioxidant, I'll talk about that. But before I get into that, if your goal watching this is to get down inflammation, you know, look at some other videos that, that I have here and, and, and look at, again, immune irritation, physical issues in your body and get those corrected, chemical issues, or even emotional issues, any of those things ramp up inflammation and a supplement doesn't replace those things. It, 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 it can help, but it isn't the whole story. You know, identify environmental allergies and food sensitivities and, and dysfunctions in the body. Do all of that first. And once you have all that figured out, well then, then a supplement can really, really help or a nutrient can really, really help. You'll see the benefits of it. And, um, and maybe you've already done that and you're looking for another step. Well, that's, this is really what you wanna use and anybody will get benefit from what I'm gonna talk about. So the most powerful, the most pow after you do all that, the most powerful and, uh, uh, nutrient for to cut down inflammation is actually an antioxidant because inflammation is, a, is, is kind of the result of a bunch of free radicals that have been circulating in the body, forming this oxidative stress and antioxidants get rid of those free radicals and that oxidative stress and, and start cutting your inflammation down. So the most powerful antioxidant is something that we make in our body already and it's called glutathione. And, and you know, glutathione is, uh, the way I like to explain glutathione, think of glutathione as a big fire extinguisher. It is designed to put out immune fires, getting rid of inflammatory fires. And there's lots of antioxidants, but Glutathione is the big dog. It's really the most, the most powerful that we know of as an antioxidant, and we make it. However, the problem with glutathione is, is we make it, and if we're not making enough of it to deal with our infl inflammation, our free radical uh, damage and, anti and oxidative stress, we, we don't curb all our, our, our oxidative stress and it starts to build and build and build and build because we're not making enough glutathione to keep up with it because we have too much going on in our body. So we can add more in and help that process and start putting out the fires, giving our body a little bit of a break, helping out. So that's glutathione, really what it does and, um, and why we need it. But not all glutathione is the same. And this is a very, very important part because you don't want to go and you know, purchase some kind of nutrient that's going to be absolutely useless because there's a lot out there. <laughs> really, there is. So um, there's, there's a glutathione that you'll find and it's called L-glutathione. You'll find it on the, you know, you find it in the stores. Probably it's pretty easy to find. Don't, don't take a second look at it. What we see, it's only about 10% bioavailable. So there's a bottle with, I don't know, uh, 90 capsules in it, maybe nine capsules, eat the whole bottle. That's the, be the quantity of effective bioavailable L-glutathione glutathione that you'll get. Because glutathione is fragile. And when you consume it, the stomach acid burns it up. So you gotta consume a mountain of it to get just a little bit in your bloodstream. So it's not even worth consuming. But then there's something called S-acetyl-L-glutathione. This is the one you want, okay? Because the acetyl group on, on glutathione makes it, uh, makes it get through, allows it to get through the stomach acid much better so you can get more of it in your bloodstream. It's more like 80 to 90% bioavailable versus 10%. S-acetyl-L-glutathione would be a little bit, 
This is what's called S-acetyl-L-glutathione. It's gonna be a little bit harder to come by, harder to find. You probably have to go through a provider. I know there'll, there'll be a link below. You can access the, 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 some of the ones that I use in my office. But S-acetyl-glutathione is really the only way to go if you're gonna take glutathione and try to help out. Now, one thing about glutathione, it's not like one of those things if you have an achy shoulder and you kind of blame it on more inflammation in the body. It's not that you can take uh, glutathione and you're like, well, there it is, I'm feeling it now. No, glutathione is building up your antioxidant status. So over a period of time, you know, and that's when you'll notice it, like a month maybe, really. It's gonna take time, but you're gonna build up that antioxidant uh, that you know that antioxidant profile in your body in your bloodstream because you'll actually see it in your blood climb so that's acetyl uh, glutathione now there are many other antioxidants and I don't want to take credit away from them like the curcumins and the resveratrols and there's so many however if you have a problematic digestive tract you know any any even minor digestive symptoms can sometimes cause a problem when you're consuming antioxidants in the form of nutrients or even the foods you're consuming. What happens is, is, is you need gut biodiversity. I've talked about this in other videos. You need gut biodiversity to break down the fibers. For example, turmeric, it's, you know, it's a miracle food, but you need to have the biodiversity to take that turmeric and break down the fibers so your, your body can actually, con your, your bacterial species can convert it into an antioxidant that your body can use. If you have some, a lot of gut problems, you can eat that. You can take turmeric all day and really high quality supplements and it's not gonna do much for you. But glutathione is different. It's native to the body to some extent. Well, it is, it's, na it's naturally uh, produced in the body. But when you, when you consume that, you don't, even if you have a damaged digestive tract, it's only gonna help with that. So that's why it's the best and it's the most powerful. And chronic inflammation is a, and largely the result of not having enough glutathione plus all the other things I said in your environment and those that. So, so that's glutathione and what you can do. So there's two ways of kind of getting your glutathione up to work on inflammation. One, take glutathione directly. And there'll be a link below. There's it's something that, that I use in my office. It's called, um, uh, what is it called now? AC glutathione. Uh, that just means acetyl glutathione. And it's by Apex Energy. It's a great product, but there's lots out there. But there's a link there if you can't find any. And, uh, and you can get it directly from us. So that's straight glutathione. That's safe for anybody. But there's, some, there's another way to get glutathione up in the body and taking a lot of N-acetylcysteine. Your body uses N-acetylcysteine to help make glutathione. So it helps speed up the manufacturing, the glutathione manufacturing processes in your body. N-acetylcysteine can be helpful by itself, but you know, it's, uh, sometimes people can't handle N-acetylcysteine. I've seen this. So glutathione might be the easiest directly, or you could take the precursors that help make glutathione. I wouldn't focus just on precursors, but there's another way where you take precursors and glutathione. That's gonna give you the best, the best opportunity to get those up. So you're gonna have the precursors that your glutathione manufacturing machinery to make glutathione and also have glutathione in there to get glutathione up. So there's, uh, there's, there are products out there like that. You usually have to take two, the precursors and supplements and, and then the, the glutathione directly to do that. There's a product, there's a link below and it's called trisomal glutathione. It's also accompanied by Apex Energetic, super high quality, uh, like anything Apex has. And there's, there's lots of companies out there like that, but it's called trisomal glutathione and it has the precursors to glutathione to help make it, to speed up your machinery to make glutathione. It also has glutathione directly. But you know, I can't underestimate, and I could never underestimate the power of glutathione. If there's one thing, that's what you want, okay? So all the links are below. You can access all these things. Feel free to leave a question if you, um, if you have more questions on antioxidants, or at least, at, at least on this, because it's, it's a big world. So I hope that was helpful. If you want to cut down inflammation and you're looking for a nutrient, glutathione is the king, but just stay away from the L-glutathione. So um, I, I hope it was helpful, but I look forward to talking to you next day. We're gonna answer the, another, uh, another question to why and, um, and have a great day.